Hey, um, I'm Scott from Sport New Zealand. I work within the area of play. Uh, over the last couple of months, we've had a whole lot of play champions and people who are passionate about play coming together to talk, test, and challenge ourselves to ensure that we preserve and enhance play in New Zealand to the benefit of all young New Zealanders going into the future. We've uh, got a few more tips for you guys, so if you hang in there and stay tuned, we'll have them to you in a minute. Tip for a school is just, um, you know, put out some equipment, it could be sports balls, could be um, hockey sticks, and just let the kids explore and find their own purpose. You know, sometimes sports equipment doesn't have to have a purpose and people can just, and the kids can just create things that they want to create. A tip for teachers about bringing children into the natural environment to play is to really realise that there is endless learning opportunity through seasonal change in environments. So when it's summer that the ground is hard and when it's winter that the ground is muddy and the language opportunities, the experience opportunities for learning are huge. For teachers it looks like teachers being involved in the physical activity with the students, modelling that behaviour and that physical experience with, with the students, with their pupils. And at the end of the day we're trying to gain a quality experience for our young people. In schools it's really important to understand the value of play to the connection to the rest of the learning environment. Play is a learning process. In actual fact, the creativity, the innovation, and all the other um, holistic developmental elements add a lot more richer and deeper education experience within the classroom. So if you are a teacher, uh, I encourage you to get out of the classroom, explore outside of those four walls. Uh, go and spend time in the playground. If that means that you do your math class outside in the playground, then so be it. Um, count how many swings that you can um, get going at the same time. Um, just tie in play and those opportunities into your day-to-day -day routine with your class. So play is just absolutely crucial and we just need to make sure that we as adults enjoy and allow the opportunity to enable kids to take ownership of that play themselves.